Today we're going to be talking about the digestive system. Are you curious to know about your own body? Okay, let's get started. A normal or average person produces enough saliva to fill two soda cans every day, roughly two pints. When you pass gas, it's related to the fermentation occurring in the large intestine. Bacteria works on digesting the waste food material that makes its way into the large intestine. As they work, they release gases such as methane and hydrogen sulfide. Fact 3. The small intestine isn't small at all. Stretch it out, it will cover the size of a tennis court. Due to it, folds in its wall, known as villi and microvilli. That provides increased surface area. The digestive system uses enzymes to break down foodstuff. Protein breaks down protein while amylase targets carbohydrates. Lipase acts on fats to break them down. That some laundry detergents use the same enzyme your body uses to break down food in order to break down stains? Interesting, isn't it? Fact 5. The muscles of the esophagus pushes your food down through your stomach, which means you could eat upside down. But beware of choking. This also means that you don't need gravity to push your food down through your esophagus. 6. Birds are designed to release excess air that the body intakes from drinking carbonated beverages, smoking, or eating too fast. Next, me and my brother are going to show you how to make your own digestive system with Legos. Are you excited? Let's get started! Okay, now me and my brother are done making the digestive system. Isn't it cool? Okay, let's start. Let's see how the digestive system journey begins. First, the teeth grinds up the food. Next, the saliva moistens the food with special enzymes. You may think that the swallowing process is very simple, but it's really not. The tongue pushes down the food through your throat. There are special throat muscles which force your food to go down the long pipe which lead to the stomach. This is called the esophagus. Next stage is the stomach. This is where food hangs out there for four hours. While food sits there, Enzymes work on it, breaking stuff like proteins that our body can use. Our stomach also kills bad bacteria, so we don't get liver and pancreas do a lot of work in the digestive system. They both work with the small intestine. And also, the liver sends a good thing our body needs. The first part of the small intestine works with the juices from the liver and pancreas and continues to break down the food even more. The second part is where the food gets absorbed from the intestine and its nutrients is passed down to the blood. The next stage is the large intestine. Any food that the body doesn't need or can't use is sent here. Later, it leaves as a waste. Plastic. The rectum is located at the bottom of
of the large intestine. As the anus opens, the muscles of the rectum.